Hi, it's Sam Wilson, the Sam Wilson Home Selling Team at eXp Realty, the realtor helping realtors, and welcome to video number six in this value stack about networking for success. So this video is about giving, asking, and receiving, and I'm gonna introduce a very new concept about receiving to give. So let's first talk about why I say give first, then ask, then receive. The reason why is, if you can see my hand here, the closed fist not only can't give, but it can't receive. Things bounce off the closed fist. So I believe that if you give first, you'll have a much better opportunity um, to receive. And we'll talk about how to ask for what you receive. I believe, uh, yeah, that's in the next video about asking for referrals. Um, but yes, I do believe you should Always give first, listen for wants and needs, give before you ask and then receive. Um, so there's a lot of, um, there, there's been a lot of people that talk about this, some very famous mentors about, you know, the hole you give through is equal to the hole you receive through. Well, I do agree with all that and I think it's important, especially in the real estate industry, that we're truly listening for wants and needs before we know what to give. And then people will receive that as helpful, caring, interest, um, and then it makes it easier to ask and receive referrals, right? It's not just, you know, I heart referrals. You know, I've built my business on referrals. Well, that's pretty selfish. That's what's in it for you. So, so let me, let me um, talk about one more aspect of giving um, that we're going to talk about in um, a whole nother uh, video stack. But one of the things I believe in is um, what's in it for your clients to refer you? What's in it for people to build this network? Not what's in it for me, I heart referrals. I mean, come on, really? It's about why a referral helps. So, for example, um, with me, referrals help families of fallen first responders. I'm involved with an organization who pays off mortgages of fallen first responders. Uh, they're called Tunnel to Towers, by the way, great organization. But I'm involved in um, donating some of my income to them because I believe in their giving. I believe that a portion of my income should go to them to help families of fallen first responders, and that's how I ask for referrals. Your referrals help the families of fallen first responders. There's a whole section, uh, another value video stack I'm doing about giving back, so we'll get into this in more detail. But that's giving first before you ask and then receive. Now, I'm going to get into something here that's a very new concept. Um, and another way to look at this, another way to look at, you know, receiving, and it's to receive to give. All right. Again, I believe in give first, then ask, then receive. But giving does have its limitations. You only have so much you can give. That's finite. What if you focus on receiving first? So I'll tie it into what I'm saying. What if you focus on receiving education, information, um, receiving openly about the wants and needs about the people that you're building a network with, receiving ways to help them before you engage and, and start masterminding and networking. So just another way to look at it, but you know, hopefully you get the concept. This is another great masterminding topic. I look forward to doing that with you. And in the meantime, um, I will see you over at video number seven in this value stack of networking for success. And video number seven is about asking for referrals. I'm gonna give you a great way to do that. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to say to build your network and, and exactly how to do that when you're presented with the opportunity to do so. I look forward to seeing you over there. I'm Sam Wilson, the Sam Wilson Home Selling Team at eXp Realty, the realtor helping realtors. Thanks for watching. 
see you in number seven.